Hey guys, it's me, Sasuke Number 3, and I'm here today for a collection video, to be more specific, a video game collection. I got my game set up right there. But before this starts off, I'm going to name some rules. Yes, rules for a collection video, I know. When my brother and I both got into gaming, we just, we bought a lot of games together. So that is how I was able to afford most of these. I am including those games. But the games he solely bought with his own money, like Metroid Prime 3, I am not including because, well, I don't play them and I really don't own them. As for the consoles, I'm not bringing them out here because there's wires and I really don't feel like hooking them all up again. And anyways, I'm gonna go over the consoles really quick that we have. We have a GameCube that's, well, we can't sell it because it's pretty much broken. It's sitting up there in my brother's closet. <laughs> Then we have a Wii. We bought it together and I'll never forget that day. I really like the Wii. Uh, the motion controls I'm not a big fan of. Most of the time I took up a GameCube controller and played with that anyways. And then there is the Wii U. Yes, we're, we're Nintendo people, what can we say? In all honesty, I really don't like the Wii U. I'm sorry, Wii U fans. The gamepad, I really don't like it. And lastly, there's one console I solely own, and that is a Sega Genesis. It was a trade with my brother. He found it at a flea market. I bought him a game, and he traded me the Sega Genesis. Anyway, to the handheld consoles I have, it's a Gabasp. I call it a Gabasp. It's a GBASP. Game Boy Advance SP. Gabasp got this out of flea market and I don't own any games for it. The only games I get to play on are the ones my brother has. This is my heart and soul. It is my 3DS. It's not the new 3DS and I'm really disappointed. The new 3DS is it's not, it's only getting an XL size. I'm sorry, I don't care if it's faster. I don't want an XL. I want something small I can carry around with me a lot easier, something I can put in my pocket. Yes, this is my cobalt blue. 3DS. I got it refurbished and it, I, I love it. It's my little baby. <laughs> okay, now to the games. You guys know I'm a Sonic fan, so there's there's gonna be a lot of Sonic games on this. Just gonna start with the Genesis. There is this classic. I don't know. I haven't really touched any of these. There's Sonic 2, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, and Sonic 3. I mean, who else really owned a Genesis for anything but the original Sonic games? Next. I'll get my pile of GameCube games. Sonic Mega Collection, I, it's okay. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of the classic games. People are gonna kill me, but I really think Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is the best on this. Sonic Spinball is fun though. I know, I'm a horrible person. I think Sonic 2 is better than Sonic 3. And no, Sonic, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, they were meant to be one game and they can be hooked up to be one game, but they released as two different games, so I call them two different games. There is Sonic Adventure DX. I have never really gone back to replay this game. I, I don't know why. I mean, the stories, I, I really didn't enjoy any other stories except Sonic and Tails. And everyone knows Big. I didn't think it was that bad until I spent an hour at Twinkle Park. Okay, one of my favorite games of all time, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Holy crap, I love this game. It's like the best Sonic game ever made, and yes, I'm that fan. Plus the Chow Garden is super addictive. Although after I got all the emblems, I never really touched it again. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. I'm sorry, my chow I haven't played within months. Then there is Sonic Heroes. I really like this game, actually. I go back and replay it once in a while, and I think it's pretty fun. It's fun if you just stay in speed formation and just try to avoid running off the edge. Ready for Edgy the Edgehog? Nah, I didn't think you were. I don't think this is a bad game, actually. I think it's, it's, it's an okay game. It's not the best but I, I think it's okay. In my favorite racing game, Sonic Riders. I love this game. Holy crap, it's like, it's an amazing racing game. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's really, really fun. I think it definitely was good for the 15th anniversary. Unlike another game that came out for the 15th anniversary. In the Mario games, there is Super Mario Sunshine. I have played through this game tons of times. I really, really like it. I actually like it better than Galaxy. Kill me fans, kill me. Then there is Paper Mario 2, The Thousand Year Door. I love this game. I've played through it like three times and gotten 100%. I think it's a really fun game. Mario Kart Double Dash, of course. But overall, I do think it's a great game. Although I ruined my GameCube controller playing this wrenching analog stick back and forth. Of course, Mario Party 7. 
I've never really played any other Mario parties, but this one I think is actually pretty good. I, I like it. The one game I wonder why I haven't traded in, and then I remember no one gets GameCube games anymore. Mario Garf Ma Mario Golf Toadstool Tour. Yes, I actually bought this. <laughs> And I really, really enjoyed it until it's like, oh, here, have a hard mode of the game. And I'm just like, why am I wasting my life with this? So that's all for the GameCube games. Now I'll go on to the Wii games. And start off, here is my newest game and Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. I'm sorry. This is a disappointment to the Sonic Rider series. Just the gravity was too gimmicky. Probably my favorite game on the Wii. Sonic Colors, no surprise. This is a great game. It's got great reviews. The color powers work well for it. I have been playing a lot more of this recently. Sonic Unleashed, I've now I've actually gone back to replay it. I have better thoughts on it. The Werehog stages I've never really hated. I think they're okay. They're not as good as the daytime stages, but yeah, overall, I really do enjoy the game. And I'm replaying every level trying to get all S ranks in. It's been actually pretty fun. Here's a game I recently completed after not touching for like a year. Kirby's Epic Yarn. It's not a bad game. I just found it kind of got a little boring after a while. Then there is Rayman Origins. This is really only fun in co-op. I'm sorry. But it's, it's really only fun when you have someone to smack around. And it's a really, really hard game. I've owned it for like three years and still haven't finished it. It's so hard. There is... Uh, New Super Mario Bros, and I know we got it used, and it didn't come with the box art, but it is the game, as you can see. Personally, I didn't like the game that much. I mean, it was fun, but it kind of just got a little repetitive. Of course, Super Mario Galaxy, it's a pretty good game. Controls aren't difficult, I just, I never adjusted to them. I have beaten the game, I just haven't bothered to get 100% and SHUT UP FROGS! Then lastly, Mario Kart Wii. This is like the best Mario Kart game. And lastly, the Wii U titles. This is the first game we got with our Wii U and it is Sonic Lost World. I have mixed feelings in this game. It's not a bad game, it's a mediocre game. It just, it gets repetitive. And another Sonic game. Sonic Boom! Rise of Lyric! I know, I defended, I said I really did like it. And I've kind of changed my mind on that. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. It is a better game now that the patch has come out. I will defend that. And then this came with the Wii U. No surprise. My brother and I barely beat the game. Like, we didn't even try Luigi U because we were just like, it's, it's dying. It's, it's really the exact same game as the Wii one, except, oh look, it's a slightly different level design. And the Yoshis. I do think it's a better game than the first one, but eh. I'm, anyways, now to the handheld games. I have Sonic Rush. I think it's a pretty decent game. I just, I've never gone back to replay it. Sonic Boom Chad Crystal. It's a fun game for, I don't know, if you have 20 minutes to spend searching for shards the crystal. Then you need those to unlock the levels. Oh, now I get to have spend like, oh, I don't know, hours searching. I really don't like this as much as I like the Wii U version. I'm sorry. And then lastly, this is probably my favorite game of all time. I never take it out of my 3DS. And across a new leaf, I play this every day. This game has so much to offer. You can play it like every day is a new experience. Something new to do. Something different. You can, well, you can do the same things over and over and over. But, you know, the game is content. It's just like, it's a free room game. I take pride knowing that I've played this game every single day for over a year. Okay, so that is it for the video game collection. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally not run out of video ideas. Later.